is your first alert five weather with Jessica Van Meter. Well, we are dealing with some snowy conditions today and that wind will be increasing as we go throughout the day. So not looking too great. If you do plan to hit the roads, it's a good idea to just stay inside today. Between Colorado Springs and Pueblo, we've got some very isolated snow showers right now that can ramp up later this morning. We will expect some slowdowns, especially as the wind kicks up as well. Between Colorado Springs and Denver, especially across the Palmer Divide, that's where we're expecting to see the highest snow totals with this system. So we'll have snow and wind and it'll be a difficult drive between Colorado Springs and Denver. Again, if you can can do stay off the roads for today. That snow is falling, mainly light snow across much of our area. The heaviest has pushed just east of El Paso County between Colorado Springs, Denver, still some moderate to heavy snow falling at times, especially east of the Denver metro area. And we're going to continue to see that snow to develop as we go through the morning and even into the afternoon and evening hours, especially for those areas of the Palmer Divide. With that, we've got plenty of watches and warnings, lots of colors showing up across the area. We've got winter weather advisories in effect for areas of the plains. You could see around two to four inches for many of those areas. Winter storm warnings in effect for northern El Paso County. That does include Monument all the way up through the Denver metro area to the Wyoming border. Four to nine inches of snow along with those gusty winds. Even blizzard warnings, blizzard conditions expected for the northeastern corner of the state and off towards the northeast. So we are going to have a lot to deal with today in terms of the snow and the wind that goes along with it. So here's that hour by hour forecast. We'll continue to see the chance for snow, even moderate to heavy snow at times through the morning hours, and that'll even continue as we get into the afternoon. As the wind kicks up later on today, that'll be a mainly northerly wind. That tends to be a drying wind for areas like Colorado Springs and Pueblo, so that may kind of cut off the moisture for those two areas, especially the southern end of Colorado Springs and southern El Paso County. If that happens, our snow totals could be a little lower for those locations. But as you head north from Colorado Springs up towards Monument, those snow totals will increase drastically. That's where the heaviest snow will be throughout the day. Also into areas of Teller County after midnight is when things finally start to improve. That could still mean some issues with the morning commute tomorrow. As far as that snowfall forecast goes, again, if we get that northern wind, those totals will be a little lower for Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Areas like Monument, though, snow models have been fluctuating between five and nine inches of snow, so we're expecting a lot of accumulation for the Palmer Divide us also into areas of Teller County. As I mentioned, that's also going to come with some gustier winds by later on today. Those really ramp up later this morning and continue into the afternoon hours. That's a mainly northerly wind, sustained speeds close to 30, 30 miles per hour at times. We could have some gusts close to 40 or 50. So as the snow falls and the winds howl, we will have the chance for some low visibility and also blowing and drifting snow will be issues throughout the day. Those winds finally improve a little bit through the overnight hours, but generally still breezy overnight heading into Monday. Today really going to be our big day to worry about. We are going to go with three on the storm impact scale, mainly just because northern parts of Colorado Springs up towards the Palmer Divide will have some stronger impacts, especially if we can get that four to nine inches of snow along with gusty winds. Things clear out tonight and then we're looking drier and warmer for the rest of the week. Temperatures back into the 40s and 50s. Just a small chance for some precipitation on Friday. We'll keep an eye on that. Pueblo chance for snow today. Again, that northerly wind could cut off our totals a little bit. Temperatures will be cold, warmer for the rest of the week. Also a lot drier after we clear out tonight. Canyon City will have snow and wind to contend with for today. After that, though, things looking much better for the rest of the week. Drier and temperatures back into the 40s, even 50s by Thursday. Woodland Park, snow and sunshine for today. Or snow and sunshine, snow and wind, excuse me, for today. Temperatures stay chilly. We're back into the 30s and 40s as we get into the work and school week. A little breezy still tomorrow, and then things improving for the rest of the week. All right, with all this snow and wind, we've got some traffic issues.